After watching the videos that had to do with chapter 9, the two counseling sessions, I did think they were similar to how I imagined. I personally have been in counseling in the past and it's kind of what it was like. Um, in the first video, I recognized that the therapeutic triad was pretty strong in the counselor's uh, character. I did notice that he had empathy he had warmth and genuineness, and these are all described on pages 318 to 321 in Simmons. Uh, I noticed that he properly validated his client by using phrases like, um, it sounds like what I'm hearing is, I'm sensing that maybe you're feeling this. And I thought that that was actually a really great communication tool uh, because he's not telling the client what they're feeling or thinking he's presenting it to them uh so that they can decide whether or not that's exactly what they're feeling or thinking so he's kind of using it to guide the conversation for them to kind of confirm or deny whether or not that is true uh, which is great because it's hard for us to make our up our own minds and it's important for clients to be able to do that especially if they're gonna reach their own goals and become independent outside of counseling. In the second video, I think that the counselor was using the Egan model and this is in chapter nine on page 354. The reason I thought that is it sounded like he was uh, trying to intervene with the client and that he was pretty confrontational. Um, and a recap of the Egan model is what is going on? What do I need or want? How do I get what I need or want? And it really sounded like uh, the counselor was taking things that the client said in past sessions and reminding her of those things and trying to confront her with her own uh, thoughts or feelings expressed in the past so that she could make decisions in the present. And he really focused on setting goals with her and gave her some homework for the week. Uh, so that's why I thought maybe he was using that model. And whether or not I would connect with either one of these counselors, in the past, whenever I have had a counselor, I've been pretty particular about only having female counselors and that's just my own uh, preference. However, if I had to choose one of the counselors, I would choose the first one because he seemed more gentle in his approach. Whereas to me, the second counselor seemed a little more intimidating and it's probably because he was being more confrontational with his client. And a question for y'all is out of the models discussed in chapter nine, which model do you think you'd most likely use as a counselor? I thank you guys for your time and I apologize if there was any loud noises like that truck that just went by. Um, but I appreciate you taking the time to listen to my video.